the eyes have it. After months of wrangling, Yemen's parliament approves a landmark deal granting embattled President Ali Abdullah Sela immunity from prosecution. The vote paves the way for Sela, who has led the deeply impoverished country for 33 years, to resign. It comes almost a year into a violent uprising against his rule that has plunged the country into chaos. The deal ensures Sela cannot be tried for the deaths of hundreds of protesters killed in clashes with government security forces. Lawmakers say now the country can start to rebuild. I call on all of you to exert your best efforts in order to get Yemen out of this situation. The whole country is at risk of being divided and a breakdown of security. We don't want to be like Afghanistan or Somalia. We believe this is an excellent move and it's important that politicians move forward and start dealing with the security and economic issues facing the country and the great challenge presented by the expansion of Al-Qaeda in different regions of Yemen. The 69-year-old Sela has ruled Yemen since 1978. The immunity deal will cover his entire time in office but not automatically extend to his aides, which was a key demand of the opposition. Meanwhile, elections for a new president, likely to be Saleh's deputy, are set for next month. Andrew Raven, Reuters. Yemen's outgoing president Ali Abdullah Saleh said he would be seeking medical treatment in the U.S. He has handed over power to his vice president, but would be returning still as head of the ruling party. Saleh, who ruled Yemen for three decades, offered an apology to his countrymen. I demand a pardon from all the sons of the nation, men and women. If shortcomings occurred during my 33-year term, then I ask for forgiveness, and I apologize to all the citizens of Yemen. But despite his planned departure, thousands went back to the streets to protest. Saleh has been granted immunity as part of measures to negotiate his resignation. But the protesters are demanding that he be put on trial for offenses that were committed during his rule. These young people in the public squares are celebrating his departure, but they made a vow to the blood of the martyrs that they will pursue him, even if he dived into the sea or ascended into the sky or went to the edge of the world. The protesters also demanded that other officials from Saleh's regime also leave the country. The departure of Ali Abdullah Saleh from Yemen has left us very happy because we'll have got ourselves rid of the head of corruption and we hope that his associates follow him because they wreaked havoc in our land. They accuse security forces controlled by Saleh and his aides of killing hundreds of people. Many fear that his followers will cling to power even when he is gone. Michaela Cabrera, Reuters.